Wakurugenzi eh last week niliwaambia sababu ya ile invention yetu sijui wangapi wameweza kuitumia leo i have good news kama umeweza kutumia na imekuletea kitu kidogo eh nichukulie screenshot ya hiyo 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 face yako sababu nitaona umetengeneza how much hapo then on tag pale kwa instagram ule ambaye ame make the most ule ametengeneza pesa nyingi zaidi 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 na hiyo kitu i will match that money kama umetengeneza 10000 nitakupatia 10000 juu sababu ya a good job well done bas si hapo tuko sasa in the meantime sikumieni watu wengi magazines wenu nini wasikumieni hiyo link waende wa hata watengeneze senti eh, in case mna wanda hiyo link iko wapi again ndio hii nimeweka hapa kwa description na nimepin hapa kwa comments in the meantime eldoret tunangoja sana aha tarehe 15 tupatane rupas mall twende tufanye ile kitu au sio hapo sawa that said let's roll Season 5 episode 5 come ke and if you see Krugenzi in the building you just know he's got the juice mm Krugenzi nunue ni t-shirt sababu msipondunua nitaivaa mpaka mchoke hii hii mtaiona hii mpaka ile ziku itaisha if you don't know now you know mm. bye very fast hi wakurugenzi leo nataka tuteremke moja kwa moja baka mwaka wa 2003 mwezi wa 8 2003 mwezi wa 8 kuna mzee mzima hapa anaitwa Juan Pablo oh no sorry anaitwa Juan 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 Catalan <laughs> ah sana kogana majina poa Juan Catalan eh jina by the way hata need kuambia dem vitu nyingi wasiene Juan Catalan Juan Catalan ame ako shughuli zake hapo nyumbani kidogo kidogo oi makarao ndio hao anashindwa eh rada rada makarao nje hup kidogo kidogo we mtu chini kuja hapa leta mikono pingu kara kara you are under arrest for the murder of Martha Puebla eh, anashindwa wait a minute under arrest for the murder bana mimi hata kuku sijawahi chinja Mnanishika kwa nini before ataseme nini ako nyuma kwa gari ya polisi back seat mlango fungwa bap mbaka jela very fast anaenda mazee anasomewa mashtaka yake anaambiwa ameua msichana mdogo teenager wa miaka 16 ambaye alikuwa anafaa testify kwa kesi fulani ngori unajua hiyo story anawekwa wapi death row the guy anaingia jela anapiga miezi sita akiwanda wallahi niliua nani sangapi wadau tukule ni pause tutoke huko mwezi wa 8 2003 tukuje huko mwezi wa 5 around mwezi wa 5 tarehe 12 20 eh, 2003 mzee mzima eh, Juan Catalan ako shughuli zake pale eh hiyo siku anafaende acheki mechi ya nini mechi ya baseball sababu huko wanapenda mambo ya baseball sana 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 lakini before aende kuona mechi ya baseball ni vizuri niwaambie exactly what was happening around that particular time kule wana America kuna mambo ya gang related violence sana as we speak on this particular day 12th of May 2003 brother ya Juan Catalan kijana ambaye anaitwa Mario Catalan ako kwa ngori mbaya 
kwa ngori gani kumekuwa na gang murder around na tayari ashakuwa identified as an accomplice to that murder na kesi imeenda sana iko kotini among the witnesses ambao wame take stand pale kotini ku implicate Mario Catalan as being one of the accomplices of the murder ni msichana mdogo wa miaka 16 anaitwa Martha Puebla so Martha akachukua stand pale akasema ukweli mimi nimeona kijana Mario eh, Catalan alikuwa hapo wakati mtu alikuwa anapoteza maisha yake in the hands of gang violence ngori sana hiyo ni ngori kuruka sasa kuja mpaka hapa tare 12 mwezi wa 5 2003 hiyo siku Pablo Catalan sorry Juan Catalan ndugu yake Mario Catalan ambaye ako implicated for eh, kwa kukua eh, accomplice wa mada fulani huyu Juan Catalan ako na mtoto wa 6 years wameamua kwenda wapi kwenda mechi akienda mechi hiyo siku Pablo uh, sorry akina hizi majina zinachanganya zina Martha Puebla msichana wa 16 years ambaye ali take stand akasema huyu Mario Catalan alikuwa mmoja wawezi hiyo siku Martha Puebla the 16 year old witness anakula marisasi anakufa sasa investigations zinaanza who killed Martha Puebla investigations zinapigwa over a period of three months inakuja kugundulika through sketch flani from eyewitnesses ya kwamba jamaa ambaye aliua Martha Puebla ni jamaa anaka hivi sketch ndio hiyo kama mustasha hapa kwa latino wanapenda nini nini na sketch ka chorwa sawa sawa. His sketch to be really honest inakaa kama wa 245 wa Mexico. Like <laughs> it's a very very common face. But vile ilitembea tembea hapo kwa mtaa ilikuja ikanasa Juan Catalan ambaye ni ndugu ya Mario Catalan ambaye ako kwa kesi ya mauaji na huyo ambaye ameuliwa alikuwa key witness kwa hii kesi. Of course vitu kwa polisi zikaanza kukua rahisi sana tuko na sketch hapa hii sketch imekuja imenasa jamaa anaitwa Juan Catalan Juan Catalan anasema yeye hajawahi wa mtu kabisa lakini Juan Catalan ako na motive ako na motive ya kuua Martha Puebla sababu Martha Puebla alikuwa key witness kwa kesi ya brother yake Mario Catalan hata kama ni wewe Usikie bana mtu ameenda ame implicate brother yako na uko na kaasira kidogo si utamkulisha ndengu. Juan anasema wacha nini ama nini? Mimi huyo msichana mnasema ameuliwa. I have never ever seen her in my life. Sijawahi muona. Aliuliwa siku gani? Anaambiwa huyo msichana aliuliwa three months ago. Na unajua vizuri sababu wewe ndio ulikuwa hapo. Wewe ndio ulimpiga marisasi nyingi. Unatuuliza maswali kwa nini na unajua vizuri wewe ndio ulimpiga risasi. Juan anawaambia mimi msichana sijawahi muona sijui mnaongea jua nini. Anaulizo okay three months ago on a Saturday evening ulikuwa wapi? Anawaambia mimi nitakumbukaje wewe ulikuwa wapi two weeks ago usiku? Uwezi kumbuka? Mimi nitakumbukaje mali nilikuwa three months ago usiku fulani on Saturday. Of course siwezi kumbuka. Wanamwambia bas, uwezi kumbuka sababu ulikuwa busy ukiweka marisasi kwa kifua ya msichana wa 16 years. Enda ndani wacha kutusumbua wewe. Ume it's too much. Jamaa kotini. Judge ba guilty. Ingia ndani. Uko na siku 14 za kukata rufaa. Appeal. Let me tell you guys. Majamaa walingangana na hiyo kesi. Jamaa akarushwa ndani eh, awaiting death row. Wacha lawyers wapambane sababu kila mtu wa familia ya eh, Juan Catalan anajua Juan Catalan hawezi hawezi piga mtu risasi. Sketch ambayo imemwimplicate aki it's a very common face like hiyo picha ukitembea tu na yo, kwa streets za mahali kuna latino wengi utanasa watu kama moja wanakaa kama hiyo sketch. 
Mmeona malatina wengi wanakoga na hii kitu ya wananyoa uh, clean si si kipara but uh, ka, ka, ka clean vizuri alafu wanabakisha ka mustache. Niko sure nikikuitisha walatino watano sitakosa wawili wako na hiyo look clean shaven na ka mustache. Inakoga ni swag ya walatino. But maze serikali itakujua huyu mjama aende ndani. Ameua msichana wa 16 years kwende kabisa. Wacha lawyers waingie kibarua maze. Wakajaribu kupiga investigation hapo kuangalia. Maze Buda, uwezi kumbuka kabisa three months ago. E time ulikuwa wapi? Maze ukikumbuka tu mahali ulikuwa inaweza tusaidia. Juu tunaweza hapo tuoneka tunaweza pata tape sama nini? Kitu tu itutoe kwa ngori. Jamaa maze akumbuki. Mungu ni nani? Waifu wake akiwa nyumbani akifanya mavitu vitu zake kwa nyumba ni nini nini? Anakutana na nini? Tickets za game ya baseball anaangalia date anaona wait a minute hii tarehe ni ile tarehe mnasema mtu wangu waliua msichana lakini niko na tickets hapa za kuonyesha Juan Catalan alikuwa kwa stadium na our daughter ambaye ako 6 years old aki watch mechi ya baseball na ndio hii tikiti mkara akwambia aina mambo aina mambo anyone can get tickets hata mimi sasa hivi kitaka naweza enda ninunue tikiti alafu niende ni uwe mtu na nitumie tikiti kama eh sisi kitu tunataka kuona ni actual evidence ya Juan Catalan akiwa kwa stadium akiona hiyo mpira mnasema alikuwa ameenda kuona hiyo ile siku utakuja nayo ah bas mtu wako tutamwachilia we ikakuwa liwe liwalo hivyo ndio tunafanya Lawyers wakashikana hapo na familia. Wakaenda mpaka kwa hiyo stadium mazee wakawaambia sasa mtu wangu najua mna recording hizi mechi na kuna ma kamera zinakuaga kila mahali zinamulika mpaka ma fans. Mnaweza kuwa na kamera ambaye inaona raw flani hapa. Sababu hapo ndio mtu wangu alikuwa ameketi na alikuwa na mtoto mdogo wa 6 years old eh, siku fulani saa fulani. Wakapatiwa access to video footage waende waangalie kulikuwa na a total of 8 tapes za ku skim through wanaenda tu wakiangalia wakiangalia lakini mazezi nini zimeshutiwa mazee ni mbali uone subjects vipoa like is a problem wali go through hizo tapes zote zote nothing hakuna like vitu picha zionekani vizuri kuna place anaona yenyewe huni mtu na mtoto lakini uwezi hiyo we, face uwezi iona poa Maze ikakuwa ni noma wamengangana nothing hakuna kitu ina happen so ikafika mahali ikasemekana mazee sasa jo itakuwaaje mtu wangu e, sisi tu, tunaweza prove mazee uliua msichana wewe umeshindwa ku prove si wewe uliua msichana mtu wangu ingia ingia death row mara moja tu, tuache kupoteza pesa ya serikali na pesa yenu sababu wewe unajua uliua msichana wenyewe na kusema ukweli najua ni makosa kuua mtu lakini pia ukifikiria na ukifamilia na understand mbona unaweza fanya hivyo mtu ambaye anaweka brother yako ndani for life yenyewe hata wewe unaweza ni rahisi ukasirike uchukue tu bunduki umpige risasi so by then naelewa ai jamaa huwa ananiambia zi man mi vitu za brother yangu ni vitu za brother yangu mimi sikuwa na issue na yeye yeah, akitaka kuua watu acha uwe watu mi naishi maisha yangu maze. so ikakuwa ndo hivyo hakuna vile tunaweza saidiana unfortunately it is what it is wewe ngoje tu siku yako ya kunyongwe ifike unyongwe ama kama unakula life sentence ukule tu life sentence sababu huo ni msichana wa 16 years with her whole life ahead of her mkatiza maisha yake just like that sababu brother yako ameamua kukuwa jangili bas case closed shut so juan catalan is now looking at a death sentence for a, a, a crime he believes he did not commit lawyers wame jaribu kila kitu they have gone through all the footage ya stadium awajaweza ku complete kwa hiyo scene ya crime kabisa so ikakuwa ni sawa acha tu stars as the line pande yako mtu wangu we have done what we could pole sana wadau mungu ni nani <laughs> wakati tu majamaa wako karibu kuachilia kesi Juan Catalan aende ya kule electric chair huko ama kule life sentence 
Mtu mmoja anakumbuka kitu. Very important. I think ni employee wa stadium. Anapiga simu anasema ngoja 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 kwanza. Kuna ma FBI walikuja hapa waki ma nini investigators walikama hapa wakisema wanataka kuna footage sababu kuna mse akojela anasemekana alikomit murder na huo mse anainsista alikuwa hapa eh na waka go through footage lakini haikuwa clear so hawakuweza complete eh hey, hey maze kuna kitu nimekumbuka aki it's a very long shot 96% chance haitawasaidia lakini hiyo 4% you never know mtu wenyu anaweza pona hapo So nikasema tu acha niwapigie niwaambie. Eh eh. So on that particular day, hiyo mnasema mtu wenu alikuwa hapa stadium. There's a TV producer alikuwa na shoot kipindi. Kama mnajua comedy sana kuna kipindi inaitwa Seinfeld. Seinfeld ina producer na producer flani anaitwa Larry, one of the creators anaitwa Larry. Larry alikuwa na shoot another show in that same stadium. Apo apo so kuna ka section alikuwa amechukua aka place cameras ndio a record makataways nini sababu kwa hiyo show alikuwa na shoot kulikuwa na a couple walikuwa wameenda kuona game kwa stadium so of course camera ili roll roll hapo so anyone anaweza kuwa alipita pita hapo nini nini camera inaweza kuili mnasa so if you insist your guy alikuwa amekaa around that area then you might be in luck sababu kamera za u producer zilikuwa somewhere in the vicinity hapo so hata akipita pita huko nini anaweza kuwa alionekana but then again naambia hii ni it's, it's such a long shot hata ni hard hata tu but nikasema tu niwaambie just in case so akasema sawa wacha twende tutafute oh, creator anaitwa nani anaitwa Larry ah hey, wacha twende tumtafute tuone kama hiyo footage bado wako nayo So majamaa teke teke na mawakili wanaingia kwa Lari maze wanaambia maze Lari kuna show fulani yako ulikuwa una shoot kwa stadium night fulani usiku saa fulani unakumbuka oh ya yeah, ya yeah. ilikuwa game ya zwini nani na nani hey, hiyo game kamera yako ili roll kiasi hapo kwa kwa wase, kwa audience oh ya yeah, of course na unaweza kuli na sana sana majamaa walikuwa wamekaa hapo kuona mechi oh ya yeah, ya yeah. nilikuwa nimeonasa lakini sikuwa na target in fact kamera ilikuwa nyuma yao So mtu mnatafuta unless mnamjua kisogo ndio maybe mnaweza mnaweza mjua e, na kama the positioning ilikuwa designer amefichwa na watu hiyo itakuwa tricky sababu sikutaka kushoot watu mbele sababu hiyo ingeleta pepa work mob oh sign sijui nini sign nini na hiyo uh, kazi nyingi so nilikuwa na shoot watu from from behind kamera ilikuwa nyuma yao kwa stadium ah. so hata tuwezi ona face yao mjama ah face na itakuwa ngumu ah wakasema ni sawa tu. We lete tuone, tuone kama tunaweza ona kitu tu hata kama ni mark kwa kisogo yenye inaweza identify mazemse wetu alikuwa kwa hii stadium. Sababu mali imefika sasa mtu wetu ataenda jela for life for no reason na kukomit your crime. So jamaa producer Larry akawafungulia archives, akaenda wakakaa chini wakaanza ku skim through tips, tips, tips. Wanaangalia vile kila mtu ameketi nini nini, wanaona mavisogo ziko hapo. Ah hakuna mali eh, eh, Juan Juan Catalani huko. Ah wakasema okay at least we gave it a shot. Ah, Ju hapa naona hata ball ishaanza nini nini ah sidhani sidhani yako ako somewhere hapa. My friends wakienda tu ku give up. Hivi tu yani lazima hata hizi tapes sisi twende. Guess who walks past the camera guy akishuka chini akitafuta mahali pa kuketi. You guessed right. Juan Catalan anashuka stairs pale chini kwa stadium then akitafuta kiti mahali ataketi ana turn ki design camera inamshika profile yani good enough to be able to tell yes this is indeed Juan Catalan what are the odds guys what are the odds the anashuka stairs anaenda ana turn hivi akitafuta kiti Wasa wanaona oh my god ndio hiyo Juan Catalan Juan Catalan lakini hana mtoto amesema ako na mtoto wanagongea Juan Catalan wanamuuliza mtu wangu ulisema kwa stadium ulikuwa na mtoto tunakuona hapa hivi eh, ukilitafuta nini lakini hauna mtoto hii anasema yes you are right sina mtoto sababu mtoto already ameketi kwa kiti ndio nikitani hivi nikimwangalia niende kwa natafuta ukiangalia mkono yangu wengine nimebeba drink ndio nilikuwa nimeenda kumchukulia So Juan Catalan although the nini yonekani ana turn anaenda mali mtoi wake yuko now the cameras have placed him 
inside the stadium at exactly 9:06 p.m. Wana kimbia maze na evidence wanaambia maze wa sejo tumeweza ku place Catalan kwa stadium 9:06 p.m. It's true alikuwa stadium aki watch ball. Release ni mtu wetu maze mumemfunga miezi sita for no reason na ujama ko very innocent alikuwa amepeleka mtu wake out wakaone ball na nyinyi mmemweka ndani 6 months. Watu wakarudi pale kwa nini kujadiliana kujadiliana. Oh jury wameitwa. Oh hey judge nani nani. Wana come na verdict wanasema it's okay. Tumeona Juan Catalan alikuwa kwa stadium at exactly 906. But the murder ya Puebla, Martha Puebla it happened at 10:30 p.m. That's almost one and a half hours bra. That's enough kuingia stadium kutoka kwenda ku commit murder na kurudi before match ishe. Sababu kutoka mahali stadium iko na mpaka mahali Puebla alimadwa ali is only 20 minutes. So anaweza kuwa ndio aliingia stadium akangoja mechi shike shike akaenda akatimiza mambo yake akarudi akafanya nini akafaka akarudi aka akaendelea na mechi jamaa akarudi kwa mjamaa akamuuliza mtu yangu kunaweza kuwa kulikuwa na any communication between you and anyone e time sababu wanasema ni ukweli ulionekana kwa stadium saa 3 lakini between saa 3 na imada ya saa 4 uh, mtu yangu unaweza kulitoka at some point akaambia wadau kama umde malimadua saa 4 na inanichukua 20 minutes kutoka kwa stadium niende nifanye mambo yangu na nirudi nikikupatia uh, conversation sababu i am very sure nilikol wife wangu immediately mechi ilisha immediately mechi ilisha nilikol wife wangu hiyo itasaidia wakasema yes hiyo itasaidia sana ulimkol saa ngapi akasema nilimkol immediately mechi ilisha na mechi ilikuwa inaisha around that 10:30 Unless mimi ni flash nipigie waifu wangu simu 10:30 nimwambie niaje mechi imeisha then nipige kama flash niende ni, ni mademdem ba, ba. alafu nirudi stadium in in two seconds then basi mnaweza nishika lakini kama nilikuwa kwa stadium saa nne na nusu wakati msichana alikuwa na mado the new na show mimi sikuwa kwa hiyo story wakasema leta hiyo nini tu, tu, twende to verify wakaenda wakacheki wako na ukweli alipigia waifu wake in fact hiyo call i think ilikuwa mpaka recorded usquizi so, apparently hizi calls zina recordiwa tu ukitaka kukusikia kile mtu alisema kwa simu siku fulani inachezwa tu ikasemekana hapo ikasikika akisema e, ni aje babe ah, mazeti yetu leo imechapwa but haina shida mimi narudi mtaa ilikuwa around 10:30 pm wakapiga ile pinging <laughs> unajua unaweza triangulate ujue hii simu ikipigwa ili ping kwa tawa gani ni tawa gani ili ndio kama alipiga hii simu huko kwa madasin tujue mazee wakapiga triangulation hapa wakapata hii simu ili ping kwa tawa yenye iko right outside the stadium so pablo i mean um, juan catalan alikuwa kwa stadium when Martha Puebla was being murdered 20 minutes away. So hiyo ikamtoa kwa nguri just like that. Wadao the odds of this happening is like one in a billion. What are the odds that ile siku maze unafaa yani wewe kila kitu your goose has been cooked. There is a Hollywood TV producer shooting some random thing ambayo inaenda kuku exonerate kutoka kwa ingori like hapo god alikuwa tu amekuwa manaume jamaa kabisa kabisa you are not going anywhere man you are not a madara o producer mzee akaenda akaambiwa jo mtu wangu believe it or not ile tape yako ile yenye ile record kwa stadium imetoa mtu death row mzee imetoa mtu death row chief na hivyo ndio vile Juan Catalan alipona Brava yake Mario Catalan ngori zilimshika kwa ndani. Uh, I don't think ishawa ijulikana to date ni nani aliyuwa key witness kwa ngori ya Mario Catalan ambaye ni Puebla. Martha Puebla, very young 16 year old alipoteza maisha yake hiyo siku. Lakini on the same night huyo jamaa mwenye alikuwa accused of his mad of her murder alipona. Maze a beautiful story of coincidences nazipenda sana hizo squeeze man 
Bas na nafungia hapo kipindi wadao kama imewabamba, iwabambe zaidi kujeni na mbogi fanyeni vile mnafanyaga. Eh hey, maze. To fry sisi wote au sio? Imekuwa true sana na watambua. Adios muchachos. Peace. Mm. All right.